Well, the furniture trucks are lining up outside the Fisher's IKEA just six weeks until the big opening day. So you won't get inside until October 11th, but today, 24 Hour News 8's Brenda Donnelly got a one on one tour of the huge superstore. She got the assignment today. So, Brenda, we have to know what's it like inside? <laughs> It's huge, Brooke. It's hard to describe. I'm standing in the warehouse section, which isn't even half of this IKEA building here in Fishers, but I did look up the square footage, and to put it in perspective, you could fit 100 tennis courts in this IKEA, 55 basketball courts, or five full football fields just in this IKEA, and it's full of food and furniture. So thanks for inviting us in today. Oh, thank you for coming. Okay, so we walked yeah. in the front door and yep. already I'm hit with food. This is our Swedish food market. Frozen meatballs oh. or some of our cookies or jams. Welcome to our kitchens area. Okay. We have 50 unique inspirational home sets that right. you can take a look at. Now, this is specific to kitchens, so you can look and browse, test out the product, uh, and then see what you like to, to make some decisions. Pick out things like cabinets Absolutely. and chairs. Yep, and storage stuff. solutions, bedroom sets, mattresses, mattress covers, pillows, sheets, blankets, <laughs> you name it, we have it covered here. Here's a different kind of decor. Yes, yes, so <laughs> this is what we call small land. It's our supervised children's play area, mm -hmm. and this is just a really an amenity for our customers that come through. It's not oh, a daycare per se, but it allows you to drop your kids off for a short amount of time. You're gonna get an hour of shopping, yes. and your kids uh -huh. get an hour of playing, and then yeah. you can all go get some meatballs. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we have an exterior entrance to the restaurant that will be open a half hour before the store opens just to cater to those that want to come in and grab breakfast on their way to work uh, and then of course you can get access it. <laughs> it anytime during your store visit too. So great. What's your favorite yeah. thing? Uh, definitely the meatballs. It has to be. Wow. Yeah. This is a huge change here. <laughs> yes. So although the store is a one level location, this is to scale. This is a two level self-serve warehouse where customers will pick their furniture once they get to this point. Tell me what folks yeah. can expect when this opens again it's October the 11th right it is yes so we'll have a ton of activities for that particular day we actually allow for customers to come and camp out beforehand 48 hours before camp out outside the yes, store before okay. the opening date uh, we'll have a lot of giveaways and things to look forward to and we'll announce that when it gets closer So again, that opening day is October 11th at 9 a.m. So ask off work now if you want to be there that Wednesday and probably the Monday and Tuesday as well, because folks will be camping out in uh, anticipation of those freebies, guys. Yeah, and Brenna, okay, so opening day, huge. Other than free furniture, they said there were some other things happening that day, right? Yes, you know, they're not going to have like the traditional kind of a ribbon cutting. They will have some photo ops and things like that, but they're going to saw a log in front of the IKEA instead of cut a ribbon. It's actually a Swedish tradition, they told me, that's supposed to bring good luck onto a home and to the people who come inside of it. So the Swedish saw logging opening festival, again, coming up on October the 11th. Yeah, and we would expect that, but the real Swedish thing that a lot of us are looking forward to, <laughs> the meatballs. Are, are they sharing any of those? <laughs> well, not today. We tried to get some, but they're going to have them tomorrow for those coworkers who are here getting training. But we will be here live on October the 11th, and Dave, I will make sure you get a meatball. Oh, thank you. Brenna, you did not mention my name. Yeah. <laughs> or Ken's, but hey, yeah. that's okay. I mean, Brooke, too. <laughs> and Ken. Okay. Meatballs for everybody. There Yay. Brenna Donnelly, thank you so much.